All right, let's look at another question. An aircraft is heading. Two two zero degrees magnetic. An aircraft heading two two zero degree magnetic is tracking away from an NDB. Is tracking away from an NDB. With ten degrees of port drift. Variation is five degrees west. Variation is five degrees west. At the NDB. Variation is five degrees west at the NDB. And eight degrees west at the aircraft. And eight degrees west at the aircraft. Find. Number one, the ADF indication. Number two, QDM, QDR, QJ, and QTE. Now, it becomes really important that you should know what these are when they ask you questions like this. So they can ask you, find the track, true track from the station. That becomes much easier for you because they're telling you what it is. But here they're just saying QUJ, QT, QDI. You should know what they mean. You might actually find, you might be able to find all the four answers, but not be able to match them properly if you don't know what the meanings are. Right? Yes, that's it. I'll give you some time. Five minutes. Yeah, try. So we are looking at the second application of NDB here. So in this case, the NDB acts like a homing, um, a homing beacon, which is used to home towards or track away from the station. The station. Yeah. So we'll we'll kill off bit of ones again. So let's have the NDB in place here, right? And the aircraft. Say, for example, the aircraft is here. Doesn't matter what the heading of the aircraft is. Now. If, I, if the aircraft wants to track towards the NDB, the aircraft has to probably track in this direction. Right? And this is what the aircraft uh, wants if it wants to track towards the NDB. Right? This is a track to the station. Now, if you want to plot, not for tracking anymore, if you want to plot on, on the chart and stuff, you basically need the track from the NDB back to the aircraft as you have discussed in the previous class that's because on the chart you don't have the aircraft what you have is a station so you need the track from the station right this is track from the station so as I've told you before I would recommend you to kind of understand this with respect to station only forget about the aircraft it's either track to the station or track from the station now depending upon whether or not it's true or magnetic the Q code changes. If it is for tracking, then you would largely need magnetic tracks. So it's either the track from the aircraft to the station. So track to the station, the magnetic track is what? QDM. Right? And the opposite of that, which is the magnetic track from the station, is I wanted to say QDR. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, I, I was. Uh, yeah. All right. What about what about the true? If I want to plot it, I want the true track from the station to the aircraft. What is that true track from the station? Oh, so QTE. QTE and the true track from the aircraft back to the station not really significant, but that is. Q U J. Now, for tracking purposes, you will need Q D M. That is magnetic track to the station. For plotting purposes, you will need Q T E, which is from the station back to the aircraft. These are the Q codes. Yep, it's it's, it's confusing initially. You should really know 
these cube codes because they can ask you questions. I don't know. Like I this. tried to remember it. It's like I just somebody just told me uh, from me to you. So Q U J is like to to you. So in to the okay station. Yeah, but it doesn't matter as long as you can remember it. And Q T is always from me. From yes. Only if I get it right. Q T is from Q D R from Q D M and Q U J are two stations. All right. Now, having said that, uh, there are certain things which you can instantly find out in this question. You're given the heading as 220, you're tracking away from the station, drift is given. You're asked to find the ADF indication. How will you find the ADF indication? Since you're tracking away from the station, what is the reference? Your reference is 180, right? So it's 180 degrees. And since you have a port drift, what happens to port drift? The port drift will go away from the 180. Yes which is minus 10 degrees, which is going to give you 170 yeah, degrees per yeah. yeah. right? The next one is to find the QDM. You can find the QDM in two different ways. Yes, what are different ways of finding QDM? True. What are the two different ways to find the QDM? The first one is using? To land the drift. That's right, hat room. Hat room, yeah. Right? And by using the half rule, what does the rule state? Your heading plus your ADF indication is the track, the magnetic track to the station, which is the QDM. Right? What is the heading? Is uh, 220. Plus what is the ADF plus indication you got? 170. 170. So what is 220 plus 170? What does it give you? 90. Minus 350, 030 is the answer. What's the QDM? 390. 390. 319. No, 390. So 390. 390 degrees. And the 360 will go from this? 030. You'll get the QDM as 030. QDM is the magnetic track to the station, which is 30 degrees. Now, you can also find QDM using? using a drift, right? What's the heading? The heading is 220 degrees magnetic. It, uh, I think it's 220. Yeah, what's the drift? Drift is 10 degrees four. Ten. That means track yeah. is 10 degrees port. Ta so track is 10 degrees port of heading. Minus 10. That's a lesser yeah. magnetic value. Yes, there's a track of the aircraft. The track of the aircraft yeah. is 220 minus 10. which is 210 degrees magnetic. Now, since I'm moving away from the station, how will I find the QDM? Remember, if you're moving away from the station, then your track is exactly opposite to QDM, right? Opposite. Yes. So yeah. to find the QDM, I have to find the reciprocal. If a QDM is equal to 210 minus, minus 180. 180. 030. Which is 30 degrees magnetic. Now, this is the easiest way. You can definitely follow this, but this is also a different way of understanding the same question using a drift right and we have seen before when you see 10 degree port drift to, uh, you have to if it is read from the ADF then two things should come into your mind the first one is that an ADF reading of uh, one how is it, 170 degree means two different things one is that you are moving away and second you have 10 degrees of port drift and that drift is the actual drift and since I've applied the actual drift here, all and these tracks are actual tracks. The actual track. This track is the actual track of the aircraft. Yes, that's right. Actual track, which is also called as the TMG or track made good. So you got the QDM as uh, as 30 degrees. All right. Now we have seen the general flowchart before. If you have the QDM, then how will you find out QDM? So QDM is basically the magnetic track from the station. The QDM, you got QDM as 30. They want the track from the station. They are connected by 180 degrees. Therefore, QDM is going to be? Yes. 30 plus 180. Opposite. Which is 210, 210 degrees magnetic. So QDM is 210 degrees magnetic. All right. Now, what about QUJ and QTE? How can I derive QUJ? If I want to derive QUJ, what is QUJ? It is true track to the station. 
right? So I have the magnetic tractor station as QEM here. To derive the Q, uh, Q U J, I need to apply what? The variation, variation at the aircraft. Exactly. So we have two different variations given. One given at the NDB, other given at the aircraft. So for reasons which we have explained already in the previous class, we know that we have to take the variation at the aircraft and not at the uh, at the NDB. So they might give you that, but do not get kind of uh, uh, caught up in that. So variation of the aircraft is 8 degrees west. So applying 8 degrees west variation. So when the variation is west, magnetic is going to be more than true, but magnetic is best. So magnetic is best. So what is the true value? 2. 30 minus 8, that is 22 degrees. True is your true track. To the station so QUJ is 0 to 2 degrees true now once you have the QUJ then how will you find out the true track from the station so QUJ is true track to the station QT is true track from the station right how you can find QT from QUJ how do you find that by applying 180 degrees or you can apply uh, find QT by applying the same variation to QDR. Either way, you can find out. If you apply Q, uh, variation yes. to 210 degree, magnetic has to be best. So the true is 210 minus 8, which is 202 degrees true. Or else, what you can do is you can just apply 180 to 22, and that also is uh, 202 degrees. Right? Therefore, what is Q, uh, QTE? QTE is 202. Two. Yes, are you happy with the answers? Did you get the same answers? Huh, that's it. Wonderful. Very good. Well done. So there's no confusion. You understood the whole thing. Perfect. So a couple of things you have to take away straight from this question is again, we have already discussed that before. Number one is you have to understand what is the meaning of 170 degrees relative uh, bearing. It's not just about under the having the value in place. You're finding the answer just by applying 360 minus 4. You should know what we have done here. So we have seen in with elaborate diagrams in the previous class. Why is it 180 minus port drift? We have seen that, right? And when you hear a relative bearing of 170, you have to understand two different things. You're tracking away at the same time. There's an actual drift of 10 degree port. And when you apply the 10 degree port actual drift, you will get the actual track or track made good. Another thing which you have here is about the Q codes. Understanding the Q codes is important. This question has a lot of things in it. It's a rich question. So you have to understand the Q code, you see how important it is to understand the meaning of the Q codes, else you might be able to find out all the values, but don't be able to match it properly, when you will go wrong. And remember, you will have all these in the options for sure. They will ask you only one of these, but they will put all these in the options most probably, yeah. So you will end up getting one of these anyway, and marking that. Another thing, the last thing is to understand this one, which you already know, for reasons which I have explained before, uh, then the variation of the aircraft is significant than at the LDP. In case of a VOR system, it's just the opposite, ULTA. The variation of the VOR is, has to be taken and not at the LDP. VOR is located and it's the phase difference where the it's VOR the, it's is calculated at the VOR itself. Okay. Exactly. The aircraft simply simply measures that phase difference and understands the radial, that's all. But which radial is it is determined already in the VOR. Similarly for the uh, NDB as well. Alright, but it's on the aircraft. Understood? Right, that's it. I'll leave you for today. That's it. Uh, go through this because in the next class we are actually going to join all those things together and we are going to put this in a, a real time scenario applying 1 in 60 and stuff. So what we are going to do in the next class is learn 1 in 60 first, which will go back to general nav a bit and then come back to radio because we have to have that knowledge uh, to understand this. Okay. Are we, when are you starting uh, general navigation classes? Sir? We can.